on my mind. All right, guys, we're back again, you know, S.D. Williams, the motivational godfather. This is what we do on uh, social media, all because we know that there's greatness planted inside you for watching us today. Mm. I know my love. Alright, today we're coming to talk about the seven fears you need to overcome. The seven fears you need to overcome. Um, you know, can you imagine yourself lying on your hospital bed? You're about to die. And your voice just showed up to you and says, you know, you should have used me to make money, to become successful. But you were afraid of me. You didn't even want people to hear me when I speak louder. And so you speak so soft. And people didn't believe in you because your voice was so soft. And your talent just show up to you and says, you should have used me to succeed in life, but you didn't. And now look at me. I'm dying with you. Your greatness just show up and says, you should have been better. You, when you were born, you were this. You should have been better. You should have been successful. You should have been like, you know, the biggest and the richest person of all time. You should have been massive. You should have been powerful. And what happened? You are going to die with me. This shouldn't have happened. And your mind just showed up to you and says, you should have used me. But you were not using me. You were not listening to me. You were listening to people that don't care about you. And so what would you do if you go through all this, your mindset? You didn't listen to me. And now we're dying together. How would you feel? You should have been the successful person. You should have been an inventor like, you know, Thomas Edison. You should have been the richest person like Jeff Bezos. But you left yourself so out. And now we are dying with you. How would you feel? How would you feel? And so we need to overcome all these fears to succeed in life. The fear of poverty. I was living among houses which are successful, rich people. My house did not have electricity. But I didn't give up on myself. I know that there's something greatness inside me. And I focus on having greatness. And you know, Job said this, my fear has come to me. And so what are you afraid of? Poverty? Think about riches then. Invest in yourself. You know, the most successful people in the world, they invested in themselves. The books here, I am investing in myself. When you are enjoying your life, I'm reading. When you are watching TV and laughing, I'm reading. I'm thinking, what are you doing? The fear of criticism. Most of us are afraid of crit people criticizing us. And so we decide to be out there with them. You don't want to go out. Your friend says, let's go out. And because you're afraid, you don't want them to say, oh, you're book long. Oh, you are this, you are that. So you just follow them up there. You live your dream and you follow your friends. And so you're afraid of people criticizing you. The fear of illness, ill health or illness. You're afraid that you're going to get ill. You know, you watch too much TV. They tell you there's this virus, there's this virus. So you're scared of it. You're scared to even move. And you know, the fear, your fear will face you. Your mind will think that's what you are afraid you want. And so you, it will attract to you those things that you are afraid of. And so you need to be careful the things that you are afraid of. Because that's what you're going to get. As Job said. And so we eat to survive. We don't survive to eat. So you need to be careful the things that you eat. You need to be careful the things that you, need, you eat in your life. 
day-to-day -day activities. You must exercise. You must stop drinking. Don't walk around with people who you, you know they smoke. Because if you do that, you end up being one of them. Les Brown said, <laughs> it's nine broke ass people. You are the 10th person. And so what are you? All right, the fear of death. Most people are scared to die because we think death is just around the corner. But our life is what is going to make us die or not. So you need to be careful with what you do. You need to take care of your health. You need to exercise. You need to manage your life well. If you have any issue, see a doctor. You must do your checkups. At least I do two or one checkup in a year. Either two or one. At least one checkup in a year. From my head to my toe, from my weight to everything, I do a checkup on it. What about you? Are you doing it? All right, so the fear of leaving our comfort zone. We are scared to leave our comfort zone. But you know, the first person who left his comfort zone is Abraham. Abraham left his comfort zone. And now, even though he's dead and gone, but we still remember him. Moses left his comfort zone. We still remember him. Jesus Christ left his comfort zone. We still remember him. He won the title, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, for leaving his comfort zone. What are you afraid of? I did business accounting and now I'm into writing and inspiration and motivating and coaching. I love it. In the initial stage, I was afraid to leave my comfort zone. But now I love it. I got peace of mind and I can help people. The people I meet, they are fantastic. And I love my work. What about you? Are you afraid to leave that office? To go, and, to go for your own dream? It's up to you. The fear of failing. Most people think successful people don't fail. We fail. I've failed several times. And I've failed forward. As John Maxwell said, you need to fail forward. So I have failed forward. I don't fail to sit down. I fail forward. You fall down, you get up. You don't fail and sit down. If a child is walk, learning how to walk, the child fell to walk and fall, he get up and continue till he will become perfect and start running. That's how life is. So if you fail, you don't need to get, get to where you are and sit down, but you need to get up and start going. All right. So rich people also fail. The fear of money. Money is good. Money is powerful. Money is a tool. So you need to invest your money that you have into your business. Don't be afraid of investing. If you save 10000 it's 10000 in 10 years. But if you invest 10000 in 10 years, you may wealth $10 That's how money works. So don't be afraid. The fear... Of losing old friends you know when you are learning investing in yourself you are the eagle you're going up and your friends are going down like you know like avac so don't be afraid of losing your old friends and educate yourself you know you must have self-education all the book, books here are for self-education so friends thank you for watching and have a wonderful week God bless you and don't forget to pursue your vision with your mission and we go straight down to the kingdom of success, a place where opportunities are unlimited, a place where money is valuable and we invest in ourselves. Thank you and have a wonderful day. God bless you.